Hello everyone, this is Sanskar for Tech Boys, and today we're gonna have a pretty basic tutorial on creating a simple program on C++. And basically, C++ is an extension of C. So, I'm not gonna define more, but yeah, we're gonna start off with the programming. Now, the compiler I'm using here is Turbo C++. It is not a compiler actually, it is an IDE, so it offers integrated development environment. So let's start off with it. Okay, you can see here the screen of the Turbo C++ IDE. The first thing you're gonna do to make your program is just gonna go to file and create a new, f new file actually and click on new in file menu to create a new file. As soon as you do that, you can see a blue screen appearing on your Turbo C++ IDE. Now you can just click on this up arrow to f maximize that. Now you can see the no name 01.cpp here. It's actually no name 00.cpp by default in the starting. But actually I created a file so that's why it's 01. CPP is for C++ and that's all. Yep. Now to start off with the programming, the first line in has include less than greater than. Now this says this tells the compiler to include a file which we're gonna use for our program. Now why would like to we why would we like to include a file? Because if you don't, you have to type a lot of codes so that it predefines the command you are going to use in your program and believe me by the time you finish writing the code for this header file you will be completely exhausted so please don't try that so the file we're going to include in this tutorial is iostream.h which is basically a type of acronym for input output stream uh, there are a lot of there's available depending upon the function like uh, conio.edge which is used in C actually and std, stdio.edge and math.edge, string.edge and a lot more but we're gonna use iostream.edge for this basic tutorial now the second thing you're gonna do is just hit return and type void main parenthesis now main has been defined as a function here <clears throat> I'm sorry yeah main is defined as a function here now what C++ does is that uh, the parentheses declare a function so main has been defined as a function here and you can see the return value should be void that is null to the program now we're gonna hit return and just just unselect that yeah and now we're gonna open a curly brace hit return a couple of times and uh, close that curly brace and then the f I'm just gonna expand it and now in the lines available between these two curly braces remember all the coding you have to do is you have to do between these two curly braces in the main window so just to unselect that I'm just gonna type in C out less than less than codes this is a program in C++ by tech boys and I'm gonna close the codes and a semicolon to end that line semicolons are actually used to end a statement in C++ so and the codes here are basically for the message they are going to display or the output and C out here is C out is for basically for messages and these less than less than sign indicate the compiler to indicate the compiler saying that this is an output now you can actually go and click on compile or you can actually press alt 
plus F9. Okay, now you can see here in the main file name of your program and uh, what the editor has compiled. Lines compile, warnings, errors. In this case, we have none of them. And it is a success. Yeah. Now press any key or, yeah, press any key. Now press Alt plus F5. Now, in case it doesn't show any uh, output, just go to Run and click on Run, or rather press Control plus F9. I'm just gonna press Control plus F9. Now, again, press Alt plus F5, and there you see it's actually just because I pressed Run two times, and that's why this statement appears twice. I'm sorry for that okay now that was all from this tutorial I hope you got some idea of what C++ is so thanks for watching and uh, please like our page on Facebook that is facebook.com forward slash tech boys and uh, you can actually email to us your inquiries or suggestions uh, on info at the rate techboys.tk and please subscribe to us on YouTube. This is Sanskar signing off. Thanks.